Uh, hey guys, it's Dylan, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you my basic piston lighting warehouse effect. Uh, so, before I show you it in action, I'm going to show you the redstone. Uh, basically, we just have stairs of redstone just heading up to the pistons which are located. Uh, the initial switch, uh, basically, uh, it's an inverted signal. Well, it starts as a normal signal because it's off. And then I inverted the signal, so everything is running. And basically, when you flip the switch, it's going to invert it. So basically, all the pistons are closed. Uh, within here uh, is the glowstone, uh, which you can see I didn't fill up all the top of these, but uh, you know, you can. I can do that later. But um, basically, what we have is we have repeaters that time the. Uh, that time the uh what you do uh, that time the pistons <laughs> all right so i have this inverter here just because it's a delay it it feels like it's a little bit longer than a repeater so i put that instead and then it comes with one repeater for the next one set and then repeater one repeater two repeater three repeater this is the last one uh, so, I'm going to show you it in action. Uh, the timing is almost good. i got to adjust some of the repeaters uh, just to get it right. So I have this little lighting so you can actually see the switch when you turn it on. As you can see, they all light up like in a warehouse. And then they all turn off, so... This can be useful, uh, like for maybe a farm, if you uh, a mushroom farm, a giant mushroom farm, most likely. But you know, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to make it uh, more lights, like two by two glowstone on the top. Um, it should be pretty simple. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, like or comment on the video, whatever. You know, if you liked it or if you didn't. So, uh, goodbye.